How? How could you let him take the blame? It was a mistake, I know. But we were in shock. And Tyler wanted to take the blame. And I let him. <laughs> but yeah. we should have told the truth. It must have really hurt. Keeping that inside all these years. Yeah. They pretty much just bottled it up. And now it's all I can think about. Yeah, I know. I can. I know, girl. I can under. I understand. Everywhere I look, she's there. Mm -hmm. I can't take it anymore. <laughs> so are you gonna sing a little different tune about it's Tyler now, Eddie? Admit something like that. Yep. It takes a lot of courage, Allison. Thanks. <laughs> Now apologize for what you said about Tyler. Should have seen it. <laughs> this is a very good moment, though. All so sorry. Aside, this is a really cool moment between Nothing us. Was fair to you too. How are you feeling now? Any better? I hope so. Huge Relieved, actually. burden off my shoulders. I'm really tired. I'm like, do I have to get shipped to fireweed now? <laughs> uh. Uh, I was remembering something earlier. I don't know if it even really happened. The day Tyler left for fireweed. Did Sam come by with some of our stuff? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. He did. He's not our dad. Alexander's our dad. I remember he brought us our goblin figurines. And we had a big group hug. Yeah. He borrowed the house keys so he can go out and get them. He was over at our house a lot. Fixing things. Chasing off animals. Yeah, that's a red herring. He's not our dad. I know you didn't turn up anything about who our biological father was. But did you ever think it might have been Sam? Oof. Well, your mom and him were close, so... Nah. That's a possibility. Especially if you're mentioning but it this early in the chapter. I never found any proof, no. Nah. I should go talk to him. Are you sure that's a good idea? You need to get some rest. I have to do this. And not just for Tyler. For me, too. You kind of gave it away that I love you, Uncle. That it's Thank not you for everything. because you're doing I'll this I'll call you now. later. Because Sam would have been, like, my second choice as to who their dad was. But I'm pretty, pretty gung-ho about it being Alexander randomly. The random character that shows up in both episodes. So why, of course he's gonna show up in this episode as their dad is my my theory and I'm sticking to it until it's proven otherwise. This is a lot of Allison, which I think is great because episode one was okay. a lot of Tyler. You can do this. Okay, okay, we can do this. So this is Sam's place. Okay. Wow, that's some whole lot of lumber. How did all this lumber get get in here? Sheesh. That's not light. It's a lot of lumber, man. Damn it. of order go around good he's here okay uh... 
It's okay, Allison. He's... You're gonna spend all this time and it's not gonna be him. So don't worry about it. Oh, look how beautiful that is. Oh. Gorgeous. So gorgeous. So right. jealous. Let's do this. Are you my baby daddy? No, probably not. Oh, really awkward Allie, thing I... to ask somebody. Hello. Hi, Sam. Hi, Sam. Are I'm you okay? I'm just ignoring you. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Hi, Sam. Bye, Sam. I'm just... <laughs> I can't put any of the chain or the valve covers back on. So, uh, did you need something? I, um... Talking to you from... I was just oh, driving by the next floor. and wanted to see how you were doing. I heard there was some trouble on the docks. There's always trouble on the docks. That's nice. It's totally rude, Allison, of you to be talking to him, you know, from the other floor. I haven't seen your boat in the water for a while. Uh, yeah, it was... Time for annual haul out. Laura. Haul out? Haul out? Oh, yeah. You gotta get her up out of the water so you can fix up the haul. I've been uh, missing some tools I need, so it's taking a while. Oh. Wow. That's a really nice sextant. sextant. It sure is. Present for my old crew for my 30th birthday. It's beautiful. Hmm. That's right, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. <laughs> well, it, it's mostly just for decoration these days, but uh, I'm a big fan of doing things the old fashioned way, you know? So, um, how's she doing? Huh? You, uh, you go to her diner sometimes, right? Your friend works there? Oh, you're trying to ask me how your ex wife is doing. Yeah. Um. Saw her the other night. Yeah. Um. We ate at the diner the other night. She was there. She had just cut all her hair off. Seems like the hmm. sextants are paperweight she now, too. wanted to do that. <laughs> now is she otherwise? Well. Why don't you talk to her? Sam, why don't you just talk to her yourself? I do. I talk to her. I ask about Richie and, and Dylan, too. The kids? She just doesn't really talk back. And maybe you should respect that. Right. Right. Hey, an encyclopedia of astronomy. I have this one. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. Real detail. I didn't know you were interested in astronomy. Well, how are you supposed to navigate if you don't know your ass from Orion? That makes uh, sense. Where's your brother? Oh, back at the house. Back at the house, I guess. <clears throat> so, uh, what's he getting up to today? Who knows? Huh. All right. Impressive collection. You want some? Take them. I don't really navigate anymore. Uh, oh, uh, thanks. The moon's engineering, navigation, and the ocean tides. The political ecology of the marine world. Oh, I know this one. The introduction will be forever burned in my brain. Your mother gave that to me. Really got me thinking about things. How's the, uh, how's the house coming along? Slow. Slow. There's a lot to do. Of course. I mean, <laughs> there's a whole life and lives in there. No shame. Wow, the Becky's, you know, pretty much have a monopoly on God. selling food. 
This article about ocean acidification is really unnerving. Alaskan Ocean Institute raises flag on ocean What's acidification. That? Oh, um, there's an article in today's paper about how climate change is ruining the ocean. Mm. Yeah. <sighs> Fish have gotten puny. Spotting fewer and fewer whales. I don't know where we're headed, but <laughs> we sure as hell are going there. Oysters are vanishing at unprecedented rates due to increased acidification of ocean waters. Rising levels of carbon dioxide and steep drop in pH are threatening the survival of all ocean organisms, leading some marine scientists to fear the worst. Yeah, that would be horrible. Ugh. What is this? I don't know what I just took. I'm just such a klepto still. Ballot papers? Curtis Davis Bank. I'm just snooping through all this stuff. Alaska First Judicial District Court. State of Alaska versus Samuel Kansky. Date of violation November 60, 2014. Violations DUI. Summons notice to appear. You are hereby summoned to appear and answer of this complaint on the following date and time 3 30 p.m date september december 13th place room number six court appearance is mandatory failure to appear and result in this issuance of an arrest warrant wow curtis davis bank 80768 Elmeda park boulevard Dallas crossing alaska 77477 statement period account number sam lukansky your account summary balance is of october 31st 2015 negative four four six dollars and 76 cents Payment received $75. Previous balance $23.45. Date, description, withdrawal, deposit balance. Gas Incorporated, negative $7.01, $16.44. Funds transferred, personal check, $350, $366.44. Veni Vedi Viki, negative $150, $216.44. Veni Vedi Viki, negative $8242, $134.02. Gas Incorporated, negative $5265, $8137. Delos Lumber and Scrap, there we go, where that's where all, all, all the lumber is coming from. 6813, 1324. Return check, $350, $350, $336.76. 3, Fee for return check, $25, $36,176. Fee for the overdraft, $25, $380, $386.76. Wow. Fee for overdraft, $25, $41176. Sam's got money problems. Monthly fee negative thirty five dollars negative four four six seventy six current balance negative four forty six dollars and seventy six cents. Wow, Sam. Ballot papers. Alaskan Fishermen's Association. Election of Southeast Regional Representative. National Executive Member. Voting instructions. Vote by marking an X in the box right next to your chosen candidate. You may vote only for one candidate. Candidate name Mark X. Jonathan Shelby or Michael Wang Jr. And the letter. Hey, cuz, I left you my boat a month ago, and as far and far as I can tell, the only work you've done is test how much beer you can fill on, fit on it. I paid you in advance as a favor because I know you need it, but I need my boat. Family is family, but I, get it done by this weekend, or I'm reporting it's stolen, and I know you're tired of brown on your A. Answer your phone. <laughs> yes, answer your phone. Wow, Sam. You're, you're a piece of work, aren't you, buddy? What are you doing? Ah, my cousin Billy bought an old motorboat, but that fool drowned the engine taking her out. <laughs> yeah, I told him I'd fix it. I just read about that. All right. Can I... Here, I'll give him this. Would this help? Oh, uh... Whatever thanks, princess, but that ain't it. It's, uh, it's in a red can. Not a princess. It's in a red can. Red can. It's not a red can. It doesn't look like a red can, at least. Is it upstairs? Red can. Red can. It must be upstairs. Maybe. Or not. Red can. I mean, the only can I can take is that one. That 
doesn't look like a red can. It's got red lettering on it, but I don't think it's a red can. How about this? Huh? No. No, it should be on one of those shelves back there. Don't stress yourself out. I'll be working for you eventually. Shelves? No bananas on board? Really? Damn right. It's not just superstition. What? This one time, this greenhorn brought one on board. Well, you wouldn't believe the day we had. I can I'm listening. I'm listening. Boat was 50 miles south in the Pacific, and our hold was full of the morning's catch. We started pulling in our nets when they got all tangled up in our propellers. Made the damn things useless. Stopped us in our tracks, miles off land. So what'd you do? Well, we dropped anchor, and I had to dive under and cut out the net. Of course, when we finally managed to fix the damn thing and headed back in, there it was on the horizon. A nasty mother of a storm. Spent the trip back riding out the biggest damn waves I've ever seen. 30 footers, if you can believe it. All because of a banana. All hmm. because of a banana. <laughs> oh, damn it. What happened? Sorry. Uh, I busted my finger with that stupid wrench. Sorry, I didn't have, couldn't get that can. Grab me a gauze. Should be in that cupboard over there. The cupboard. I'm sorry. Like I'm trying to find. I was trying to find the red can. Cupboard. Oh, there's the red can. I think. Yeah, the gauze should be in that uh, cupboard over there. I was trying to find the red can for you, Sam. I'm sorry. Like I've. I was looking for. I was walking everywhere looking for a place to click, and it's like, can I not pick up? All right, I'll give you the gauze. Sorry. Oh man, I'm sorry, man. Sam, are you our father? Wow. <sighs> no, he's not. Figured you'd ask me that question someday. The answer is no. Well? I wish I was. What the hell Told kind you. of answer is that? I'm sorry, Ellie. But the man you're looking for, he ain't me. So you know who the, the man I'm looking oh, for okay. is? okay. Guess I'll just take your word for it then. Hey, you got no right coming in here, getting angry at me for something I got nothing to do with. Yeah, she's not lying. He's not lying. But you two are so close. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I know you meant something to her. You honestly think I would have let you two grow up without a father? I may be a deadbeat, but... No coward. I, I, I respect you. You must know that. something. I truly don't. Your mama, she never. Look, we were just friends. I mean, take a look at old Sam. No woman like Marianne would ever think twice about a guy like me. Oh, Sam. I'm so sick of this. I'm so. Tired of trying to unravel all of Marianne's fucking secrets. It's okay. This is the last chapter. You're fine. You're almost there, Allison. I don't... I don't understand her. I want to hate her so much. But I don't even know who she was. Come with me. I want to show you something. The red can. Can you please just tell me where the red can was? It's going to bother me for the rest of this episode. All right, well, you're not going to show me the red can. Fine. Fine. Even more things I can get lost in and click. Come in. Come in. Oh. When was the last time you cracked a window? He told the Fritz. Uh, Looking sharp, first mate Kansky. Oh. Uh -huh. What's that now? 
These pictures. And, and, oh, well, yeah, that that was uh, a long time ago. Aw, Cam looks so handsome. He's a cutie pie. He's a cutie Where pie. Where all did you photos. travel to? Mostly worked the Southeast Asia route. Vietnam, Cambodia, around those parts. Wow. I had no idea you were so worldly. Well, I, uh, I worked on a cargo, so I didn't get much shore leave. But, you know, there's, there's really nowhere my legs feel as steady as on the deck of a ship, <laughs> steering her toward a deep blue horizon. Uh, what do you do on board? Oh, I worked the deck. Started out doing maintenance. Collecting the garbage, cleaning the hull, ranked up to navigation after a while. Right. Good on you. Hence the sextant. Good on you. That's cool. Glacier Bay National Park welcomes you. Oh. Open the window, let some air in. Yes. Nice. Much better. Uh, you want to take a seat? I'm looking through all your stuff. I am a completionist. Sorry, Sam. I'm being a completionist right now. And I'm going through your mail or your computer because that's how we roll. If it gets the house sold, it gets the house sold. West Housing Real Estate Group. Enchanting Hidden Home. 12 Cannery Road, Delos Crossing, Alaska 77477, $199,500. I'm reading, Sam. You don't know how this game works, Sam. Two bedrooms, one bathroom, 20, 30 square feet. Home photo gallery map about this property. This charming all wood, this charming all wood custom built home is tucked away in the woods south of Cannery Row, just outside beautiful downtown Delos Crossing. Open kitchen with a spacious living room overlooking a breathtaking lakeside view with balcony. This idyllic 1.3 acre lot boasts lovely additions such as a barn, garage, a large dock, and boathouse. The bar, the um, bar, the garage, by the way, is partly burnt down. Love surrounding, mama. surrounding trees make a lots of for lots of privacy, easy access to Lowe's Creek, enjoy walking trails, and a protected wildlife habitat to explore. Request a showing. Request more information. Listing presented by Tina West. Mobile five four zero three three six nine. No area code? Really? No area code? It's 2015. They would have had an area code. Okay, I guess not. Dad. October date 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 October twenty eighth two uh, thousand fifteen. Paid to the order of Samuel Kansky hundred fifty dollars. Hey, come have a look. One hundred and fifty dollars. Richard Kansky signature. I'm still clicking on things, Sam. Why is there a burnt up pan in your garbage? Oh yeah, <laughs> that. Uh, might have fallen asleep cooking dinner. Were you Glad drunk? you're still with us. Glad, fall asleep cooking dinner, man. Salmon casserole, eight ounce small shell shaped pasta, salt, one large carrot shredded, one 10.5 ounce can condensed cream of celery soup undiluted, fourth of a cup mayonnaise, one can milk, use the empty soup can to measure, a half a cup shredded sharp cheddar cheese, one cup of frozen peas, eight ounce fresh salmon cooked and flaked, one fourth cup finely diced onion, 10 crackers crushed. Instructions, preheat oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, bring a pot of water to boil and cook pasta, add carrots in a large bowl, combine soup, mayonnaise, milk, cheese, peas, salmon, and onion. Drain the pasta and carrots and add soup mixture, toss and pour in a two quart baking dish, top with crushed crackers, bake Love 34 minutes. That sounds good actually, I would make that. Meal plan. Week of Octo of July twenty seven. Breakfast Monday egg and cheese with toast. Lunch tuna sandwich. Dinner spaghetti and meatball. Tuesday oatmeal with yogurt and fruit honey. Lunch leftover. Dinner catch of the day. This sounds pretty healthy stuff actually. Wednesday omelet. Lunch turkey sandwich. Dinner salmon casserole, which we just read about. Thursday egg and cheese with toast. Tuna sandwich leftover for dinner. Breakfast, Friday, oatmeal with yogurt and fruits and honey. Lunch, catch of the day. Dinner, grilled cheese and tomato soup. Saturday, uh, omelet. You wanna take a seat? Lunch, turkey sandwich. Dinner, catch of the day. Sunday, leftovers. Lunch, leftovers. 
dinner Tessa's. It's kind of interesting that he plans out his meals on a week-to-week -week basis. Good on you, Sam. Good on you. Okay. What are you... Finally, Sam, I clicked everything I think that I was able to find. What's all this? Here. I, uh... Kept a few things. Picture? Okay. Um... Mother made that. Oh, she was a real artist, that one. Hmm. Kind of like you. Cute. I like the photo right behind it as well. It's a nice photo. Swords and schemes. Oh, I took her to see that for her birthday. She hated every second of it. Oh, really? Whole drive back, she talked about how it butchered the books. Hmm. Did you like it? I, uh, well, <laughs> fell asleep before I even saw a sword. Okay. How about the schemes? Did you see the schemes at least? I guess we'll never know. She'll ever, she'll always be a mystery. Happy birthday. Wow. Dear Sam, most bears only live to 20 or 25, so congratulations on making it to 29. Sam is a total bear. Total bear. I certainly wouldn't have survived long out here without you, so thanks again for everything you do. Laura is a very lucky woman. I know you think the best part of your past has been erased, but as long as you don't forget, the, Anya, the Anyang Chak Rose will always be seaworthy. It just might look a, a bit smaller in memory. I hope. Oh, that's the, the boat that she made. I hope every. I hope you get some time on the water with Richie this weekend and catch everything you deserve, including some new memories. Happy birthday, my cherished friend, Marianne. That's really sweet. That's a really. That's great. That's really great. Happy happy birthday. I remember this. We got this on our trip to Juno. Uh -huh. <laughs> she saved up for a whole year to make that happen. Mm. Dear Sam, I'm writing from the little hotel you recommended in downtown Juno, and you were right. The kids love the whole mural. Our other favorite was the Raven mural at City Hall. Today we took the tramway to the top of Mount Roberts. Kids wanted to hike the trail. But we only made it to the totems. Tomorrow, we're going to hike to Nugget Falls to see if the glacier still looks like what's on the other side. Hope, hope. Hope you're hauling them uh, in by the barrel load. Marianne, Sam Kansky, 2501 Queens Drive, Delos Crossing, Alaska 77477. Cool. That's nice. And... <laughs> Look at these ones. Is that... She looks... happy. Hmm. She was. Oh. When was this? Why are you wearing a square hat? Oh, yeah, that was when I finally got my captain's license. Good job, Sam. Mary Ann's the one who pushed me to get it. Made me wear that stupid hat when I went to take the oath. Cute. Huh. Oh. Yeah, Laura took this one. We'd been working on that barn for months. That roof was a son of a bitch to sheath. Rain just kept on leaking into the loft. Wait, the barn has a loft? Oh, yeah. You didn't know? No, she didn't tell us. Is that a trap door? Yeah. Jim, you close the whole thing up. Time Told her to go it was going to be real hard to get any hay up there, but... Time to go back. She said she didn't mind. And Do you know what's up there? He's drinking. I could tell she didn't want to talk about it, so... I respected that. Well, we're going to have to empty it out for the sale, so... I guess we'll know soon enough. 